Okay, if you haven't seen my old video, very quickly, geocentric means the Earth is at the center of the universe. Uh, the Earth is in the center of the universe, and uh, the entire universe rotates around Earth's axis. So the sun is revolving around the Earth. Everything is revolving around the Earth because it's embedded in the universe, and the universe rotates on the Earth's axis. As opposed to what we were taught in school, where the sun, the sun is at the center and the Earth revolves around the sun while it's rotating. So it just looks like the universe is going around us and the sun is going around us. <clears throat> so since we've all been taught that in school since kindergarten, um, obviously most people today think you have to be a complete idiot to uh, be geocentric. So I was going to show you just a few of these um, books on the subject that I got over the last few years. Uh, this is the first book I got, The Earth is Not Moving by Marshall Hall. Um, it's written in sort of a comedic style where he's like having a conversation back and forth with his, with his imaginary friend or something. And um, it's got some good insights in there about Kepler and uh, Coriolis and all that stuff, but I would not give this to a new convert or anyone who's not already very well grounded in sound doctrine because if you look at some of, some of his comments in here and the other books he's written, this guy is a complete heretic on pretty much everything outside of geocentrism. Uh, um, on one page he cites the New King James Version. Um, uh, he, he's not even pre-millennial. He, uh, he, he's sort of an anti-Semite. Uh, and on page 227 he basically teaches salvation by works. Um, Right here, he says, um, uh, uh, the reward of eternal life in heaven. <clears throat> um, the Bible says uh, eternal life is a gift, or the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. Uh, a reward is something you earn. Uh, eternal life is a gift, not a reward. And he says, you, you know, you have to have the love of the truth. The love of the he misinterprets that verse in I think it's Second Thessalonians two, um, and and of course he doesn't believe the English Bible is a hundred percent pure. But if you if you want to study this subject in depth, then add this to the list of books to get for what it's worth. Uh, this is two books in one. Uh, the first half is a geocentricity primer by Dr. Gerardus Bow, and the second half is uh, the geocentric Bible by uh, Gordon Bain. Uh, I got uh, I found at least two different editions of this on uh, Amazon. I like Bao's half better. Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, Dr. Bao believes in a big universe, and uh, Gordon Bain and Marshall Hall believe in a small universe. I don't know. But, but this is uh, the first half of this uh, looks at uh, the, the relevant Bible verses a lot, and uh, it's got some uh, helpful diagrams in there. Uh, the Bible and Geocentricity by James Hansen. Uh, this one is highly technical. It's obviously written by a scientist to scientists. It would bore the crap out of most people. But uh, he maketh his son to rise. A look at biblical geocentricity by Dr. Thomas Strauss. Uh, he it's. It's a pretty good little book. He's got a couple nuggets in there. 
none of which have to do with the Hebrew, which he unnecessarily quotes constantly. Tells you the Hebrew word for everything. And it doesn't help, but uh, for those of you who uh, who won't believe anything until you hear it from somebody who knows Hebrew, well, that's your book right there. Uh, if you remember, Thomas Strauss is the guy who uh, who is uh, sitting next to Sam Gipp uh, in the Bible version debate on the John Ankerberg show, and you know, t Thomas he you know later said something really stupid about Sam Gipp because he didn't understand what Sam said in 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 the debate, and he does not understand the difference between a TR man and a King James man. Thomas is a TR man, but what are you going to do? If you like Hebrew, get that one. And, and there's a good joke. He says something really funny in the preface, which I think is worth the price of the book. <laughs> um, uh, this is a reprint of a book from I think the late 1800s by uh, August Tischner, fixed idea of astronomical theory. Uh, it, it, it's not it, it's not a perfect book, and it's not intended to be. He's not the Dr. Bao reprinted this, and he added a pref an introduction to it. He didn't reprint this because it's a perfect book. He reprinted it because it has a few good insights in there. It includes uh, interviews with uh, interviews of heliocentrist scientists back then, showing there's got to be something wrong with you mentally for for them to still believe that the Earth revolves, rotates, and revolves around the Sun, because there's plenty of evidence against it even back then. So, and uh, Bio's introduction is good. Um, um, there's an issue of the Biblical Astronomer, uh, volume 21, number 136, uh, 2011. It's got a couple good articles in there on the Foucault Pendulum and uh, the Firmament and stuff. Uh, biblical Astronomer, technical paper number two, the Copernican Revolution, a fable for educated men, a collection of responses to Dr. Danny Faulkner's uh, geocentrism and creation, as promoted by Answers in Genesis. Uh, some rebuttals to uh, Faulkner's stuff. Uh, some of it's by Dr. Bao some, and uh, a couple other guys. Um, well, there's a lot of good stuff in there I wrote down. Uh, Talks about Galileo and how Galileo didn't disprove anything. You think Galileo already disproved geocentrism? No, he didn't. No, he only disproved one particular model of geocentrism, uh, the crystalline spheres model. And uh, on page five, it explains of the difference between uh, geocent geocentrism and geocentricity. Um, uh, the hypocrisy of anti-geocentric creationists. Uh, page 12 through 13, there's some new evidence uh, that supports one of the claims Marshall Hall made about uh, Kepler. And uh, several pages talks uh, a lot about Einstein's theory of relativity and how and how that debate ties into all this stuff. <coughs> And that's pretty much it. Um, uh, believe the Bible as it is written. Take it at face value. It means what it says. The earth is at the center of the universe and it does not rotate and it does not revolve around the sun.